I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. On the same day that 16-year-old Greta Thunberg delivered her impassioned speech to the UN on her claim that there is a climate emergency, a group of 500 qualified scientists and commentators sent the UN Secretary General this registered letter, making it clear that there is no climate emergency. For some reason, despite most major news outlets claiming that they are covering climate now, this has not surfaced as news. That's curious, isn't it? I know that our organization sent the press release to at least 500 media contacts. So maybe it will just reach more people if I just read the message to you. Your Excellencies, there is no climate emergency. A global network of more than 500 knowledgeable and experienced scientists and professionals in climate and related fields have the honour to address Your Excellencies in the attached European Climate Declaration, for which the signatories to this letter are the national ambassadors. The general circulation models of climate on which international policy is at present founded are unfit for their purpose. Therefore, it is cruel as well as imprudent to advocate the squandering of trillions on the basis of results from such immature models. Current climate policies pointlessly, grievously undermine the economic system, putting the lives at risk in countries denied access to affordable, continuous electrical power. We urge you to follow a climate policy based on sound science, realistic economics, and genuine concern for those harmed by costly but unnecessary attempts at mitigation. We ask you to place the declaration on the agenda of your imminent New York session. We also invite you to organize with us a constructive, high-level meeting between world-class scientists on both sides of the climate debate early in 2020. The meeting will give effect to the sound and ancient principle no less of sound science than of natural justice, that both sides should be fully and fairly heard. Audiator et altera pars. Please let us know your thoughts about such a joint meeting. Yours sincerely, Ambassadors of the European Climate Declaration. So here are the main points that they made. There's no climate emergency. Climate science should be less political. Natural as well as anthropogenic factors cause warming. Warming is far slower than predicted. Climate policy relies on inadequate models. CO2, carbon dioxide, is plant food, the basis of all life on Earth. Global warming has not increased natural disasters. Climate policy must respect scientific and economic realities. There's no climate emergency. There's no cause for panic and alarm. We strongly oppose the harmful and unrealistic net zero CO2 policy proposed for 2050. If better approaches emerge, we will have ample time to reflect and adapt. The aim of international policy should be to provide reliable and affordable energy at all times and throughout the world. So that is the end of the message sent to the UN by 500 expert scientists and qualified commentators. I sincerely hope this statement will offer young people some peace and comfort. While I respect the desire of so many young people and children to stand up for something, I see that some people are, are literally frightened into paralyzing anxiety. That's not how children should live their lives. And, as you just saw, it doesn't reflect the scientific facts. I hope all of you will research the topic of climate change and, and see how vast and interesting it is, and, and not just listen to activists like Greta. I respect Greta, too. She's clearly acting out of deep passion and fear. But as these 500 scientists point out, there's nothing to fear. There's no climate emergency. Everyone can go back to school and study science, math, and the stars. We live in a world of wonder. Let's be grateful for our many blessings and all the good we've inherited from generations past. We stand on the shoulders of giants. Let us respect our elders, 
and honor all they have provided us with. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. <laughs>